Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome to my latest main Let's Play series. This one is going to be long, viewers, but I'm excited for it. Uh, even though in the past, I know I've said some mean-spirited things about the game once or twice. But not too much exploring. There is such a thing as too much. Like Oblivion, or Final Fantasy XII. I've only played about five hours of Final Fantasy XII before I cracked. Well, that's okay, Sid. I wouldn't say that you're an evil genius. No, it's not random like the chess in Final Fantasy XII, but it does absolutely nothing for the plot. Just like a lot of the events in Final Fantasy XII. Nice to know this entire game isn't a desert for the first 20 hours. You know, if you've survived half an hour of a dungeon, you can survive three hours of a dungeon. Same thing with boss fights, like Yasmat. I'm alive and I can't even get a six pack. Uh, we'll get to, we'll be talking more about that when we get to Final Fantasy XII. Worry not, viewers. Okay, maybe a lot of times, but I've really changed my tune on the game, having played it three times all the way through, beginning to end, uh, in preparation for this LP. Oh, I wouldn't say it's in my top five in the series. No, don't get me wrong, but. Um, it really grew on me the more times I played it. It was really a, an acquired taste for me. I, I, I mean, I, I'd still say my criticisms are valid, don't get me wrong, but, and I'm not going to take back what I said, but I, I think the good parts outweigh the bad parts. To me. There, there is a lot of good to the game. After this LP, I will be playing the North American version of the game. I'm certainly not playing the European version, which I heard made Black Magic more powerful or something. Uh, I thought about the international version of the game, which really changed a lot of things about the gameplay uh, mechanics like uh, job classes and such, but well, I just figured I wanted this LP to be as accessible as possible since I know a lot of you guys watch my videos for that purpose, for the walkthrough part of it, and that's why I love making it. As I said on a number of occasions, this game is very long. I mean, even at max efficiency, it took me like 80 hours to do everything in the game. So, as a result, there's going to be some changes that I'm going to have to make for recording the episodes. Uh, instead of 10 to 15 minute episodes, I'm more likely going to be shooting for 15 to 20 minute episodes. Uh, there's going to be some rare exceptions when I'll go even longer than that, like exceptionally long boss fights, but this is mostly due to the lack of save points in the game. Uh, compared to, say, Final Fantasy XIII, so it'll be more difficult for me to create natural breaks in the episodes. And sometimes I'll go an hour without a save point, so I'll have to record a few episodes at once. And even with this increased episode length, I could easily see this LP lasting like a good five or six months, so I mean, I'm quite prepared for this. Uh, this game is like over 50% side quests, so be prepared for lengthy sequences without storyline progression in Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! I hope you're in it for the long haul with me, viewers, but, well, I am, so. Now, as usual, for this LP, I'll be doing just about everything in the game. I'll be acquiring every map and every esper in the game. I'll be doing every side quest, every hunt in the game. Those are, like, missions or such. Uh, I'll also be defeating every rare game. Uh, for those who don't know, there's monsters called rare games, which have unusual spawning conditions, like an MMO. And, uh, but they give extra rewards for defeating them. So, I'll be going over all of this. As for all of the optional content, I'll be doing most of it as I go. Uh, I'm not going to save all the rare games for the end of the game, that's for sure. Uh, there will be times when I hold off on side quests mostly for better pacing of the LP, uh, as much as I can help it, that is. But also because a lot of times they give you a side quest that is just too difficult to do at that point in the game. I mean, it can be done, but I'm going to do it when I think it's reasonable to do side quests and such. Uh, still, I will try to do as much I, as I can as early as possible, even if it means doing it a little more difficult than it might otherwise be, but I have means of making it easier. Now, on a related note, I will demonstrate some power leveling methods, but I'm not going to abuse them myself. Uh, my levels should be comparable to my enemies for the vast majority of the game. Now that said, I'm not going to do everything in the game, but pretty much everything that's relevant. 
Uh, for example, I'm not going to be doing every mini game. I mean, I might show them off, but I'm not going to go for the max rewards from them because I just don't think it's worthwhile. And I'm also not going to talk to every NPC in the game because there are just way too many. Uh, maybe in the smaller villages I will, but certainly not in the huge cities. I mean, the game would be crazy to require you to do that to progress with the game. <laughs> oh, my game. But I also, uh, I won't be getting every rare treasure in the game. I mean, I'll go over it in detail later, but essentially there's some random element to the contents of the treasure chests in the game, unlike every other Final Fantasy. So, as such, a lot of it is going to be useless. So I won't bother grabbing every single one like I have done in the past. Uh, I'm also not going to go out of my way to get every rare steal or every rare drop from an enemy, like the Grand Armor, let's say. Some of them are like 1% drops. Ridiculous. Uh, that just takes way too long for not enough reward, in my opinion. But, I mean, I am aware of how to abuse the random number generator... But I won't do that. I'll probably demonstrate it at some point in time. Uh, I am aware of the means to acquire some of the really advanced equipment early in the game, either from chests or rare games or whatnot, but I'm not going to abuse that either. I mean, for the vast majority of the game, my equipment will, well, my setup, will be based on equipment that you can buy or purchase equipment. So hopefully that'll make it easy for you guys to follow along with me. Um, let's see, anything else? I really have no interest in acquiring every Sky Pirate's Den trophy or achievement or whatever it's called. I've never really cared for that in well, video games in general, really. It just doesn't interest me. Uh, it really serves no practical purpose, and while I, I mean, I greatly enjoy the game, but I don't love it that much to go out of my way to get all of those trophies or whatever they're called. Like one of them, I think you have to kill some elementals or something like that, but uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to do that. And finally, my ban list. Uh, as I mentioned, I will be ban banning most rare steals, drops, and treasures from this LP. Uh, I'll use some of them, but for the most part, I'm not going to. And even when I do, they're not mandatory. It's just nice to have. Uh, I'll also be banning the Niho Paleoa, however you pronounce it, because I think it's rather abusive and not really in the spirit of the game. If you really want to see it in action, well, take a look at the tech demo I made. Well, okay, I think that's all the questions I got, and I, I hope I've answered all the questions that you've had for me about this LP. I'm probably going to take a day or two off. I just had some really good energy today. I figured I'd make this while I, while I had it, but I do plan on starting this LP sometime this week. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!